Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on animation in Figma. Do you know friends that for UI UX designers, mastering animation in Figma unlocks a myriad of career prospects. Integrating animation seamlessly into design enhances user engagement and elevates the overall user experience, making designers a valuable assets to any team. With animation skills, UI UX designers can command higher salaries and attract more lucrative job opportunities. According to the industry reports, UI UX designers with animation expertise often earn significantly more than their counterparts without such skills. Furthermore, animation proficiency broadens career horizons, paving the way for roles in animation studios, tech companies, and creative agencies with salary ranging from $70,000 US dollars to $120,000 US dollars annually. Now before we move on, let us discuss our agenda for today's session. So we are going to start our session with an introduction. Moving ahead, we are going to set up Figma for animation. Then we are going to understand the basics of animation. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with creating animations. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just a quick info, guys if you want to become a certified UI UX expert in five months, then you can attend master classes from top faculty of IIIT Bangalore. This UI UX certification program offers live online classes, portfolio creation on Dribble via Capstone projects, and designer tool coaching followed by Simply Learn's job assistance. Hurry up now and click on the link. The link is mentioned in the description box. Now let's get started. So guys, let's start with an introduction to animation in Figma. Guys, do you know that animation in Figma empowers designers to breathe life into their designs? elevating user experiences and enhancing visual storytelling. With intuitive tools and seamless interface, Figma enables designers to create captivating animations directly with their design projects. From subtle transition to complex interactions, Figma's animation features offer a wide range of possibilities for bringing designs to life. Now, if we talk about keyframe, then keyframe animations serve as a foundation for creating dynamic movement within Figma. Designers can set keyframes to define the starting and ending states of an animation, and Figma automatically generates the in-between frames to achieve smooth motion. Easing options further refine the animation, allowing designers to control the acceleration and deceleration for a more natural feel. If we talk about transitions, transitions enable designers to animate changes between different states or screen within designs, adding fluidity, context, to user interaction. Interactive components in Figma allow designers to prototype complex interactions and user flows. Now, this was some of the basic idea regarding animation in Figma, which we are going to study later on. So whether it's animating UI elements for a mobile application or crafting engaging micro interaction for a website, animations in Figma empowers designers to unleash their creativity and deliver immersive experiences. Now let's move on forward and try to set up our Figma. So setting a Figma for animation involves few key steps that you have the necessary tool set. The first thing that you have to do is, so guys, go to your Google Chrome and there is Figma. Just click on this. So you're going to see this first site. This is the official site of Figma. Just click on this and in this you're going to get. So before that, since I've already logged in, so it's going to ask you the authentication for your Gmail. So you can set up your Gmail account all over here. Now, what's the next thing that you can do guys? You can start with a new project. Now guys, what you can do all over here? Just click on design file. Now here is, okay, just click on all over here. So here you can see here you have set up your basic stuff and here you can create a new project. Now, as far as there are two proposals for it. The first one is the free version. So if you are a student or someone who is trying to learn, you can try using the free version. But I will always recommend you if you are aspiring UI UX designer, then you should definitely take up the paid version of this because it offers 
lot of features which can really enhance your UI development process. Now, in this way, we have set up our project and just uh, say, suppose, let us choose a frame, okay, all over here. And uh, so I've selected this frame and let us draw a normal, say, a button stuff. So you can see in this way, you have set up your Figma. Now let's try to understand the basics animation principle. So guys, understanding animation basics is very crucial for creating engaging and effective animations in Figma. The first one is keyframes. Guys, keyframes marks the beginning and end points of an animation sequence. In Figma, you can set keyframes to define the initial and final states of an object or an element. Figma automatically generates the in-between frames known as tweens to create smooth motion between the keyframes. The next one that we have all over here is easing. Guys, easing controls the acceleration and deceleration of an animation. It determines how an object moves between the keyframes, affecting the speed and timing of the animation. Figma offers various easing options such as ease in, ease out, ease in, out and linear, each producing different motion effects. Easing is essential for creating natural and visually pleasing animations. Next one is transitions. Transitions are animations that occur when transitioning between different states or screen within a design. For example, transitioning between pages in a mobile app or changing states of a button when hovered over. Figma's transition feature allows you to specify duration, easing and properties to animate enabling smooth and seamless transition between design elements. Now, if I talk about some of the basic principles, the first one that comes up to my mind is timing. Guys, timing refers to the duration and rhythm of an animation. It's essential to consider the timing of each animation element to ensure it aligns with the overall flow of the design and user interaction. Next one is spacing. Spacing refers to the distribution of keyframes and distance between animation elements. Proper spacing helps to create a sense of movement and flow ensuring that animations feels natural and cohesive. The third one we have is overlap and follow through. Overlapping actions and follow through add realism to animations by simulating the behavior of real world objects. Objects don't always move in perfect sync. Some parts may move faster or slower than others, creating sense of depth and functionality. And also exaggeration. Exaggeration involves amplifying the movement or behavior of animated elements to make them more visually appealing and engaging. So guys, by understanding these animation basics, you will be better equipped to create compelling animations in Figma that enhances user experiences and bring your designs to life. Now we are going to move on the hands-on part where we are going to create a simple animation. So guys, let us create a simple animation. So as you can see, I have selected a frame all over here. And for our prototype, we are going to take iPhone 8. You can choose any one of them. As you can see, it has a lot of various options. Now, I have selected this frame. Now, what we are going to do, let us select a shape. And for our case, we are going to take rectangle. So here you can see, I have made one rectangle of 280 cross 63 size. You can take it something like this, or you can minimize it based on your choice. Now let us go to the design as you can see and here let's add the corner radius. So for the left one I'll put 50, right one 50, then right bottom 50 and left bottom I'm going to take 50. So this is uh, makes a kind of an equidistant stuff. So now we'll move on and try to change the color. So for this, we are going to take a normal red color and let us try to draw one circle. Okay. So here is an ellipse all over here of 41 cross 41 size. Now what we are going to do, we are going to change its color. So for changing its color, let us choose black as its color. Now click on the text and uh, say you can also add certain things like uh, off okay so which denotes is add uh, as an on or an off but for red is there so we are going to choose that it is an on
So as you can see here, uh, let us change the size from 20 to 12. Okay, this looks pretty damaged. Okay, let us try to change again from, okay, now it's clear. So now let's copy this frame. Okay, and yeah, so this is our second frame. So as you can see all over here, now we are going to change the name of the text from on to off. And I'm going to put it on the right end of it. So right off all over here. Okay. Pretty good. Now let us move on and let us try to add connection from this on. You can see the ellipse all over here from here to this next frame which is frame 2. So let us make a connector. So right click on the box, go to prototype and uh, click on the plus button and here you can see the arrow will be pointed out to the next frame which is frame 2. Now you can choose an animation all over here. So basically I have selected smart animate. So, so I'll also show you a lot of various other animation options. So just click on smart animate and you can see there is dissolve, move in, move out, slide in, slide out. There's a various type of animation which you can apply to your prototype design. Now since I have chosen a smart animation and uh, in under which I have chosen ease in and ease out and the time frame would be 600 milliseconds. Now let's move on and uh, let us make another connector from off to frame 1. Okay. So this is being connected and let us see. Now after doing all this, what do you have to do guys? As you can see all over here, there is a present button. So just click on this. Now let us try to see how our animation is working. So if you are trying to click on on button, so as you can see it's going off. But there's something wrong about it. So as you can see when it's going off, then the color is not changing. So we might change its color. So let us remove the red color. Okay. To a normal little bit light color which shows us that our device is kind of in an off position. So now click again and you can see if this thing is happening, see, you can see a very beautiful animation is coming out. So this depicts that it is in the on position and when you click on this, it goes on the off position. So this is one form of a simple basic animation guys, which we have learned today. And in that way, you can make a lot of animation using this tool. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so you have enjoyed our today's video on animation in Figma. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.